Good afternoon, my name is Steven and today I'll be presenting to you an economic analysis of the Netherlands in 2013. The country's GDP is about $854 billion, ranking 70 in the world. In addition, the Netherlands GDP per capita is about $50,793. Both these statistics show that the Netherlands have a wealthy, wealthy economy. Despite having a high GDP and GDP per capita, the inflation rate is about is at 0.14%, which suggests that the economy is growing very little or not at all. Low inflation results in unrisen prices and of domestic products and services. The current inflation rate is alarmingly low and it is at risk of falling into deflation. In addition, the inflation rate is a sign of economic stagflation which is beneficial to the economy. The low inflation rate indicates that there is little money flowing around the economy, or in other words, consumer invest and spend less money and save more because they think price might fall in the future. Due to little money being spent in the economy, firms will earn less profit and as a result, they will decrease their production costs. Labor costs would most likely be the cost that firms would want to reduce, resulting in higher and unemployment. Its current objective is to raise its inflation rate to the recommended rate, which is around 1 to 5 percent, so that the economy becomes more active. The following curve illustrates how inflation rate, how inflation affects unemployment rate. As you can see, the current unemployment rate of Netherlands is at 7.1 percent. The graph shows an inverse relationship between inflation rate and employment rate. Therefore, as inflation rate decreases, unemployment rate increases, and vice versa. At point A is, is the Netherlands' current economy with 0.14% inflation rate. In order to move to point B, where inflation rate is higher, unemployment rate must decrease. However, as it it is crucial that unemployment doesn't go too low, resulting in higher wages and higher demand in workforces. Netherlands GDP growth rate is at a shocking negative 0.7%. The negative sign shows that the Netherlands economy is in recession. A possible factor is reduced consumer spending due to low inflation rate. The following diagram shows what the short and long term growth the Netherlands will face. According to the business cycle diagram, Netherlands in, is in the recovery stage and will soon have a positive growth. In short term, GDP growth rate will continue to rise. In long term, GDP growth will slowly increase. Therefore, Netherlands' current goal is to achieve a high positive growth rate. Now, I want to talk about the Gini coefficient of the Netherlands. Netherlands' current Gini coefficient is at 0 0.289. This number suggests that the income is distributed quite evenly. In other words, the gap between the poor and the rich is relatively small. The curve is, is quite close to the line of equality which indicate the economy have low, a low degree of inequality. Overall, the Netherlands have achieved the macroeconomic objective of low unemployment rate with low Gini coefficient. The economy's current goal is to increase its inflation rate and GDP growth. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.